Brooks Bell and I have been working together for almost 12 years. I enlisted the help of Brooks Bell for strategy, for development and technical resources, QA, analysis. As my team has grown and our responsibilities have grown, they've become a huge part of our team. And what they bring to the table is the, the institutional knowledge of our business, um, the institutional knowledge of the optimization products and services that we have available to us, and they kind of use the data to help us with our roadmap. They are, um, they are a gut check for us as we decide what our strategy is for an upcoming quarter or an upcoming year. Um, they help us with prioritization and they do all the, the hard work. They do the heavy lifting from a development and a technical standpoint. A lot of things that either <clears throat> we can't do in-house or if we wanted to do would take a significant amount of time. So they definitely get us speed to market for a lot of the optimization programs that we're running. This past year we did an exercise at the end of the year where we looked at our testing and optimization programs over a two-year period and, you know, um, without disclosing revenue metrics, which, you know, most people can't do, um, the program has performed 200x what we've paid them probably in return investment on the, on the bottom line. We wear multiple hats as a marketing organization. We are not a central testing and optimization org. So what it allows us to do is manage other things while the optimization programs are in flight. And so that basically doubles the size of our team by way of engaging with them every day. The ability for people to understand that marketing is a data-driven process is something that takes a lot of time and experience. Working with Brooks Bell has really helped that process because the Brooks Bell team has educated so many people on my team. and. Um, it doesn't require as much hand-holding. There's not a lot of pushback. A lot of marketing people would say, make that button orange or make that button green. Um, and the participation of the Brooks Bell team is, poses the question of, well, we should test that. And that's a, that's a learning curve that has happened over time with my teams. When we started this process just a few short years ago, testing was not part of the day-to-day -day vernacular of the executives. Um, we frequently will hear our CEO say things like, well, we could test that, or we should use Adobe for that, or Brooks Bell can do that for us. So it's a huge part of the language, which is a sign or a signal to me that we've changed executive culture as well. I think that for us, the biggest insight that we've gained is by using an optimization platform, we've realized that we can speed through our roadmap much quicker. We don't rely on long development cycles for um, you know, small fixes or things that we want to test. Hypotheses are easily um, tested through the technology and the platform that we use with Adobe. Um, and so that makes our cycles a lot shorter, which makes our wins a lot bigger. They're a huge part of our team. Um, there is no line of delineation between agency and my team. And so um, we've all enjoyed working with them so much over the years. They are part of the family. Um, our visits are always productive. We spend days on end with them, probably once a quarter. And they are a huge part of our success and they're a huge part of our learning. They're a huge part of um, you know, our retrospective. So I would undoubtedly recommend them to anyone, especially the conversations that I have with other peers in the industry around um, where to start. A lot of people don't have the resources internally. And I say this is somebody that you can turn to because they can help you get the job done and then turn it back over to your team or continue with an engagement that will really, really bring their optimization programs to another level.